Convertible laptops are becoming increasingly favored for their flexibility and versatile designs. It's clear why. You get the functionality of two devices for a single price. In this space, Samsung has released the Galaxy Book Pro 5360, featuring Intel's cutting-edge Lunar Lake chip and serving as a two-in-one laptop. But wait, there is Apple, and there is the M3 Pro that's well capable of handling a wide range of tasks, including intensive activities like video editing, programming, 3D modeling, and scientific simulations. So, if you had to make a choice, which one would you pick? Samsung has kept the design of the Galaxy Book 5 Pro 360 largely unchanged from the Galaxy Book 4 Pro 360 and maintained its slim and lightweight 2-in-1 profile that's perfect for work on the go. While it's thin, the aluminum construction ensures stiffness and minimal flex. For connectivity, the device offers a range of ports, including two USB-C, HDMI 2.1, a microSD slot, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a USB-A port for compatibility with older accessories. The laptop features a full keyboard, complete with a numeric pad for those who need it. The 16-inch AMOLED display provides a smooth 120Hz refresh rate, with Samsung touting brightness levels of 400 nits in SDR and 500 nits in HDR. The screen appeared to perform excellently at Samsung's IFA booth. Now let's have a look at the M3 Pro. The body is traditionally made of metal, apparently giving it a premium, expensive feel in hand. Its rounded corners evoke a modern look with a touch of nostalgia from the Steve Jobs era MacBooks. The keyboard is a major upgrade, with greater key travel than the old butterfly keys, which creates a much more satisfying typing experience. As for the trackpad, it remains great, just like in previous models. The M3 MacBook Pro offers three USB-C ports, an HDMI port, an SD card slot, and a MagSafe port for charging. The display is now brighter and has a faster refresh rate that makes things like editing smoother on the go. The slimmer bezels increase the usable screen area, and the notch is barely noticeable. For those on the move, it's great for both portability and getting things done comfortably. All right, we just saw some cool gadgets that are now quite popular, but that wasn't always the case. A lot of marketing had to be done for them to garner such a fan base. So if you are a business owner and want to increase your sales and drive more traffic to your sites, you should check out today's sponsor, TikTok for Business. It is a global platform designed to help brands like yours become creative storytellers and meaningfully engage with millions of TikTok users. Whether you're looking to attract customers, drive sales, or boost conversions, TikTok's unique ad solutions can get you there. From small businesses to large agencies, TikTok for Business has the tools to help you grow. With TikTok for Business, you can launch your first campaign in just three easy steps. First, answer a few questions, and TikTok will create a personalized marketing plan just for you. Then, craft your content using an easy-to-use template or upload existing creative. Finally, run your campaign and watch your business reach new heights with the most engaged audience online. So why are you waiting? Find the link in the description box and launch your first TikTok campaign today. Now let's break down the specs. Samsung put together some impressive numbers. The Galaxy Book 5 Pro's entry-level version comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM, which can be upgraded to 32 gigabytes and storage options ranging from 512 gigabytes to one terabyte. However, the true difference lies in its internals. It runs on Intel's core Ultra 200V, also known by its codename Lunar Lake, which is Samsung's move into the AI-powered laptop space. As part of the Lunar Lake lineup, the device promises stronger performance and improved energy efficiency. Another key element is the Intel Arc GPU, which, while receiving varied feedback, remains a point of interest in this model's performance. The 14-inch MacBook Pro is available with 8 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage, while upgraded versions offer 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage. With the M3 chip, it's approximately 20% faster than the M2 chip featured in the MacBook Air and other models, and 40% faster than the M1 chips from 2020. The base model can connect to a single external monitor, which may be adequate for now, but may become a limitation over time. 
In terms of performance, the Samsung Book 5 Pro 360 might just be one of the first laptops to feature Intel's new Lunar Lake chips and promises impressive speed and extended battery life, according to both Intel and Samsung. Intel describes these processors as their most efficient x86 chips to date. Laptops powered by Lunar Lake are expected to deliver exceptional performance along with enhanced energy efficiency for x86 applications. Intel also highlights Lunar Lake's superior application compatibility, unlike Qualcomm's ARM-based Snapdragon X chips, which sometimes struggle with x86 software. Additionally, Lunar Lake is reported to use 50% less power than its predecessor, Meteor Lake, and can deliver up to 120 tops across the CPU, GPU, and NPU. The integrated XE2 GPU is claimed to offer up to 31% faster gaming performance than Meteor Lake. Speaking of Apple, the shift from Intel processors to the M1 chips brought a significant leap in performance. Now that we're talking about the third generation of Apple Silicon, the improvements are more subtle. In most cases, the M3 MacBook Pro 14 performs slightly better than its M2 counterparts. It's also a remarkably quiet machine, with the fans rarely becoming noticeable. Apple's M3 chips are at least as powerful as equivalent Intel processors and PCs and offer substantial performance boosts compared to Macs from three to five years ago. However, Apple's greatest strength lies in power efficiency, since it enables up to double the battery life of competitors and allowing peak performance without being tethered to a power source. Even the most powerful M3 Max variant can handle around 16 hours of typical office tasks like word processing, browsing, and spreadsheets. When tackling more demanding work like photo editing, battery life drops to about 12 hours. With the included 96-watt charger, the battery reaches 50% in 30 minutes and fully charges in around 90 minutes. So it's obvious why people rate this M3 Pro so high. So the price of the Galaxy Book 5 Pro is $1699 for the 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte storage variant. For the same variant, the M3 MacBook Pro costs $1999. Apple is obviously pricier, but they have always been. So which one actually turns out better? This time, we want you to answer this. While we've done the hard job for you, just analyze them and pick the right one for you and share your experience in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe to get more videos like this.